When you think of surfing Indonesia, this is probably what comes to mind. But did you know it's also home to one of the best tidal bores on the planet that has its own surf community? Friendly locals, everyone's collaborating here, getting photos, videos, YouTube, Instagram, tweets going down. Back in this place. Hi, I'm Dylan Graves. Welcome to my channel. I'm a surf geek who loves to travel and see the world through a surf lens. I think surf culture is home to a wide range of characters as well as natural phenomenon that seem to interact with each other in some very unique ways. Trying to bottle some of that lightning in videos like these has become quite a passion of mine. Which led me recently to the Kampar River in Riau, a province in Indonesia that is located roughly about here, yeah, right here. if we zoom out a bit. This is home to a tidal bore known to locals as the Bono and to outsiders as the seven ghosts. A tidal bore is a wave that is formed due to an extreme change in tide, and the leading edge of that incoming tide forms a wave of water that gets bigger as it's funneled up a narrow body of water. But what's so special about this tidal bore is that there's a phenomenon inside of this already existing phenomenon. This is known as an undular bore, meaning there's a wave front that is followed by secondary waves, known as whelps. In the case of this wave, there are seven, which is why I would guess it was nicknamed the Seven Ghosts. But my journey to learning more about all of this begins on a jet ski behind my new surf guide. Meet Deddy and Doni, or in the tidal bore world as Eddie Bono. Eddie learned how to surf right here on the Kampar River and since 2016 has been running a surf tour business. If you're interested, hit him up on his Instagram. He offers a $200 a day all-inclusive package that comes with everything you could possibly need here to surf this wave. As you'll come to learn, the Bono is a labyrinth of surfable sections that is rideable for over three hours. Eddie, knowing this river like the back of his hand, has seared some of this knowledge into a map, which I've digitized here and plan to reference throughout this video. Eddie explained that there are currently seven different sections on this wave. And our first day, the plan was to get me to wrap my head around what was what. The finish line. There is number four. Jump on the left is silo. From here to here. This right hander. And then does it turn into a left? Or does it start as a left? Or it's the whole thing's a right hander? So it turned around. How long before you felt like you knew where you were on the, on the river? Like how long did it take you to figure it out? Like how to drive it, how to surf it? We learn every day. Every time you go out? Yeah. Yeah. Because Bono is not the same. Like today and yesterday is different. Yeah. It's hard. Unlike ocean wave, we'll break on the same spot. Bono is not like that. Do you have markers or anything visually to like that you look at, or how do you know where you are in the no. river? We use the feeling. Just you gotta feel it. So it was all about mojo here on the Bono, and today was gonna be the smallest wave of our trip, perfect for finding my groove. Yeah. spot the section where the whelp wave phenomenon occurs and got some amazing drone footage that helps understand why this happens. As you can see the wave front hits a shallow bank and slows down once the wave goes over a sandbar. And once the wave goes back into deeper water it turns towards itself and multiplies, in this case seemingly into seven ghosts, hence the nickname. This was really cool to see in person but too small to ride. So we kept exploring upriver. Mini ghost. Cruising for 
whatever, it felt like, I don't know, I'd say day one success. A couple swivels, a couple granddaughter ghosts. What do you think, Eddie? I, I, I'm not happy with this wave. <laughs> Too small for me. <laughs> like, like I said before, it's hard to, to know what happened for to, tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Unpredictable. Yeah. But, like, today, we will know the web will get bigger for tomorrow. Yeah. If That's we don't cool. go, we don't know. You gotta go to know. Mm -hmm. The wave was too small today for most of the sections to light up. I surfed sections two through six. When we got back to our place, we were watching the footage and trying to make sense of what was what. There's some arm somewhere around here, like. I hired Nate Lawrence and Ivan Tanjung to shoot footage on this trip. Both had been on trips to this wave previously. Nate was the photographer on a trip in 2011 for the surf brand Rip Curl on one of their iconic search trips. So we were referencing the video they made from that trip, trying to understand if some of those sections still existed today. So that's the big tree, but that fell down. Yeah. This conversation spilled into lunch. Oh, you shot that, Nate? Yeah. Bukan pakai drone. Classic. Yeah, drones back then. <laughs> what was it about that rip curl trip that like made the wave so good? It was so big and so clean. Anthony do surfing when is the be biggest tide where is the good weather he know everything i don't know how he calculated that day eddie was referencing anthony colas who discovered this wave was surfable in 2009. two years later he called rib curl to come do one of their famous search trips here on the bono so naturally i had to pick this wizard's brain that was like a, a superman tide it was one of the biggest tides ever and uh, that trip was like the, the trigger for i think for the bono because uh it got so big at some spot that guys were getting barreled like it was like a real i I'd never seen that place barreling that much you know calling on that rib curl trip did you have any idea of like the the weather you know indonesia and uh, uh march april are transition months so usually very very quiet so uh, yeah, we knew that uh, potentially uh, it was going to be very clean. Wow, that's that's some mastery right there. That's that's pretty next level. Not only was it like a super moon, but there was it just like coincided that it was like the cleanest time of year as well. Yeah, combination of both. Okay, we got some uh, very nice footage from the helicopter, and which was showing the whelps. You know, the these uh, crossing lines where you have lines stacking uh, one after the other, and it's like an illusion, it's like a tidal fantasy, where you have the feeling that all the waves are barreling one after the other. You know, for like. 50 to 20 waves. Our dream was to get to us one guy barreling on each wave, you know, which which proved like a, like a, another fantasy because it's <laughs> quite hard to, uh, to catch those whelps. Well, that rip curl trip was something special. And while we'd have to wait another 10 years for another supermoon, we did have an ace up our sleeve with making our whelp dreams come true. Meet Ruzi, or known more recently as the Bono Champ because he won the Bono Surfing Festival, a contest the Tourism Board of Indonesia puts on right here on the Kampar River. The Bono Champ started surfing in 2017, only a few years ago, so his level of talent is obvious, as is his vast knowledge of this river. The seven ghost section was kind of the apple of my eye for this trip, and we were gonna need all the help we could get in understanding how to get on it. And you best believe the Bono Champ knows a thing or two about these sandbars. So I watched from the boat as the Bono Champ took off on the first wave of the day. There she is! The Bono! With the Bono Champ doing his thing. So I'm just taking notes right now. I think this is turn number 20 right here. For sure his legs are already burning. 23 turns. What's the world record for how many turns you can do on a wave? Guaranteed, Ruzi has. If not, get his book, we're coming for you. He's coming for you with his 25th turn. Oh! Oh, it's kind of getting good right there. Oh, the 
right starting to choke. Should I jump out? Should I try to get to that section? Yeah. <laughs> Getting shown firsthand where to go by the Bono Champ himself was priceless and really helped me understand what sections of the wave were my favorite. Let's break it down. Wave number two is the wave we just saw. It's the biggest part of this bore, but kind of slopey, I thought. Next was section three, which seemed to have really nice shape. Sections four and five is where the wave splits into seven ghosts. Yep, bingo, the whelp waves. And apparently they happen both on the left and the right. So I wanted to make sure we sampled both. Hindsight the right was definitely better, but we were a little late from trying out the left, so I'll be sure to make a note of that for tomorrow's session. Number 6 to me was another standout. It had really good shape and lots of push. And while we took a quick break before section 7, new information of an 8th ghost revealed itself. What? It's hard to catch this way. Wow. Like burial in the ocean. That's crazy. Whoa, you're fully getting shacked on that thing. If you if you made it, it's so fast. If you got that burial, <laughs> you'll be the Bono King. <laughs> because That's never surfing crazy. Yet. Wow. this burial people. We should try. Let's try it. Yeah. We have time after before the web finished. I drop you to the beach if you want to try. Okay. We cannot close. Yeah. And many content creators in the in the store. They will happy to see you. <laughs> and just like that, we're back on the hunt to section seven, the ultimate party wave. Yeah. Yes. Joining the drums. Once the wave is big enough, a bunch of local kids paddle out as they learn how to become the next Bono Champ. Now it was time to sniff out the new Bono bonus section. Bono bonus. While the wave wasn't as good as that video we saw, the section was definitely a thing. We were also a little out of position as we didn't know where the wave would break. So with a little more insight and the wave getting bigger tomorrow, I was really excited to see what this wave would do. But first, it looked like we needed to check in with the scene on the beach. My name is Nopriadi. And what's your name on YouTube? Uh, Mumbayang TV. Content creator. Cool. So you come down and, and film the Bono and put it up on YouTube? Yeah. I guess that's why I'm here too. <laughs> Content creator. Yeah, we're co we're collabing right now. We gotta we gotta tag them also. Rina Rina Bono. Rina Rina Bono. Yeah. YouTube-nya apa? YouTube-nya channel Rina Rina Bono Cahaya Pagi. Every time it comes in, you film it. Yeah. There we go. We got our cheese surfline for the Bono. Yeah. That's amazing. Dylan. Dylan. What's your Dylan, YouTube? Dylan Graves. Dylan Graves. Yes. Yeah. Nanti kita kan terumur WA ya. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she asked, well, what's up? We're, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be in touch now with you guys. Yeah. You're my co-collaborators. Yeah, co collaborators. Yeah. I'm I'm happy. Me too. Yeah, very happy. Very nice to meet you guys. I hope you go viral. Thank you. I hope you go viral. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. What a day. Made some new friends, got to party on various ghosts, and I learned about a new section of this wave that looked very promising. So, the plan for the final day was this. Start on section three to get a feel for how big the wave is. Speed to the seven ghosts right and get the ski and boat in position early so we were ready. Next, we were gonna party on section five with Ruzi. If the wave was big enough, Eddie wanted to surf section six as that's his favorite. Then we would race in, pick up our new friends, Rena Bono and Captain America to join us for the final sections of the wave. And last but not least, try to get barreled on this wave. Okay, wish us luck. is exactly why I love these trips so much. The perfect blend of everything I love about surf culture, the people, and the unique ways in how they interpret surfing are exactly why I keep traveling and falling in love all over again with our sport. The inspiration is endless. 
and in this particular case, the inspiration just so happened to coincide with a tidal phenomenon in the middle of a jungle in Indonesia. Long live novelty waves. Long live surfing. Terima kasih. Amazing vibes. Okay, okay, okay.